And I think that there is an element of this case until it completely concludes in the courts and until Supreme Court rules on this case that the DOJ would want to make a full move on the indictment part of it. They, I, I, I think there's a part of being prudent about going about this where the DOJ would want, ideally, for this appeal and this matter to resolve the special master review to be disbanded and the case remanded to Bruce Reinhardt and then, then him going over it as anybody, any, you know, Article Three branch uh, judicial, judicial officer would in overseeing um, a criminal investigation that he signed off on with the search warrant. And once that happens, I believe once the Supreme Court rules on it, then the DOJ would be completely in the clear to bring those charges uh, without having a pending appeal on the special master motion. Although I will say that there's no rule, there's no argument, there's no substantive argument in which the DOJ couldn't bring the indictments in the Mar-a-Lago case before the special master thing is resolved. If they have been able to fully conduct their investigations after all of the uh, block blockades that Cannon and uh, all of the delays that was that were caused by Cannon's order and this whole appellate process. So that's where we are. Uh, 